Salutations, everyone. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserich playing as a beautiful United States of North, Central, and South Americas. Uh, so this is the world now. I'm going to spend a little bit of time off-screen. We are currently at war with, J with Japan. They've lost, I guess, 500 guys. Actually, they invaded me already in Korea, but they're kind of not very strong. Regardless, we've got the Central Asian Federation, Persia, Indian Empire, like we established last time. We have the Indo-Chinese Union, which is decided to form, led by radical socialists. Huh, I guess I liberated these guys. I'm not sure why they're radical socialists, but whatever. I guess the game probably doesn't have authoritarian democrats for them. We have the Republic of Siam. <clears throat> and which I gave them all of Malaya down here. Just because I don't want to deal with it. Oh, maybe I need to core this for them? I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't really matter at this point in the game. This is the final episode anyways. It probably won't be half an hour long, but we'll see what happens. Led by this Plek guy. Also, when I get the event to give Siam this part of, you know, Southeast Asia, I also got the, same, the exact same event. Gave me... Sarawak as a puppet, so I don't even have to invade them. Like, they're literally my puppet now. I didn't do a single thing, but they became my puppet, which was great. Uh, we have the Netherlands here, which is cool. Uh, let's see, anything else? Obviously, there's a Germany here, the German Union. I decided to have the German Union, or at least one United Germany. This is the only option we had for a United Germany, and there's no German... I think I already explained this, though. Von Witzleben. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought I didn't explain this yet, but... I still kind of like how big the borders are. This is a nice Germany. Very nice Germany. But anyways... Actually, maybe I should have given them to Denton Land, but whatever. Sorry, by the time we hit, like, it was, I think this is episode 13. My mind is so far gone right now. It's not, like, it's like, wow. Woo, I'm going, wee. Anyways, let's go ahead and kill off Japan, even though we do have a war justification against the Philippines. Even though I do want to take out Burma eventually, which we are justifying on, so let's go take some time. Uh, yeah, I don't know why there's a lot of Japanese soldiers here, but whatever. We've been seeking or trying to find any Japanese ships, which is great. Uh, there's still some ships in the port. Uh, and we're trying to bomb the heck out of them, but we're trying to invade as well. So let's see what happens. Okay then, we're doing really well down there. Do I set you, are you set for something? Oh, you guys are up here, that makes sense. Okay, that's actually totally fine. Hey, okay, in the first, one of the first battles we lost 13 planes, 13 naval bombers. We sunk a carrier, and a dreadnought. O okay then, convoy. Uh, another carrier, and an armored cruiser. Exchange for nine planes. A destroyer. Okay, another battleship. And a carrier. A, a dreadnought and a battleship. And then the pride of the fleet. Shnikes, guys. Shnikes. Uh, this is a navy still. They have two carriers now. I have a very good feeling that they're not going to survive for very much longer. In any case. Uh, throw everyone here. All but you... And you, because you were guarding the Sakhalin Islands or the pathway, passageway to the Sakhalin Islands, so that'd be good as well. Guys, come on down here, have a good time. Good job for invading, guys. Good job. Even though you, hmm. interesting. Let's go on down here. Two destroyers, great. Two convoys, basically. Convoy. Oh, lots of planes for two convoys. Sunk a armored heavy cruiser. Sunk a destroyer. And we're sinking a little task force. Not very much, and some convoys. Be a great thing. Carry fighter ones. Uh, I started running out of things to research, I guess. Yeah, I definitely did. Tanks? Heavy tanks? Why not? Ah, that looks beautiful. 19 planes in exchange for two armored cruisers, four cruisers, and then a dreadnought. Mm. Hey, look. That sunk it as well. That sunk as well. And that sunk as well. We lost some planes for nothing, but you know what? I think we're doing pretty darn okay. We all have our duty to do. You guys just keep going, going up here. Great. And then you guys, well, head on down there to meet with the other Marines and tanks when they arrive. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely. Wow, they just, they just died. Instantly. Oh, we are getting hit pretty darn hard. It looks like a convoy. Oh, battleship. Nice. Battleship. Three destroyers. Escort cruiser. I'm ignoring everything about J the home islands of Japan. Uh, nice. We probably have air dominance. Yes, we do. They might be out of fuel. Uh, actually, they're probably not out of fuel yet. Now they still have a little bit of fuel, which is fine. Oh, did it? What? Go to war by July 8th. Okay, July 8th. This is so awesome. Just destroying their navy. A battleship. Another task force. Two battleships. Ah, so nice. So nice. The, the second pride of the fleet. Which means two carriers, an armor cruiser, and a battleship. Jesus Christ, that is... 
that is something, man. I swear to God, that, that, that is something. Oh, we push these guys out of here for the most part, too. That's good. That's very, very good. It's over here. Oh, nine destroyers. Another task force. Another task force. A small, smaller task force that we found. Cool, cool, cool. All right, tanks go right on ahead. Oh, we're demol- How strong are they? they they're not that strong. Uh, there was a comment from yesterday for me to play as Totalist Brazil. Maybe I will eventually. It's just that there's so many nations to play as nowadays that- And so many mods. I just can't get to everything, especially if I want to throw in other games as well. Because, you know, there's only so much time. Orders for the British Republic? Great! Uh, there's another comment from me, I believe- Ooh, Fall Tokyo, very good. If I remember correctly. That someone found it humorous that I spent all this time- Literally, I went around the world just to invade Japan from Korea and Russia. Uh, that I pieced them out earlier on. Yeah, I totally pieced them out just because I felt like it. <laughs> Huey Long's like, eh, sure, why not? Alright, we're gonna go right back to war with you then. So, I thought that was kind of humorous. Uh, maybe I should not have made that a spirit head. That's okay. That is okay. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to do tradition. Tradition. We are nothing without tradition, right? There we go. Whee! I almost forgot about that. Sorry if you're Japanese. It just... I got nothing against the Japanese. I love Pokemon. But it's just, you kind of have to. You just kind of have to. Uh, I think that's the only part of Japan that we haven't really gotten to yet. Sendai? Sure, why not? Oh crap, I might just nuke, nuke, nuke my own tanks. Nope, never mind. Whee! Ah, very nice. Still May, the month of May, I should say. Uh, over here, I guess I could send you over here if I really wanted to. It doesn't really matter too much. We have all our subs down here, too. Very good. You, head on over here, and then you guys, uh, head on over here if you can. Atomic bombing of Tohoku, Tohoku. The um, atomic era has truly begun. Yes, it has. Cool, not bad, not bad. Uh, how many? They've lost, like, 300,000, right? A group cruiser hole. Very good. They've lost half a million, and they're about to go bye-bye. And the other division shall go down here. Glorious. <clears throat> No, I'll just send you guys down here. You guys are pretty darn speedy, which I love tanks. I love them so much. Modern rubber processing. I forgot that we can actually do all this stuff. I can grab fuel or finding one. That's fine with me. Hey, look. Another escort cruiser. And Japan's gone. Time to go to war with the Philippines. They're like the last nation we need to actually take out besides Burma. And only five nations were at war with Japan, huh? Interesting. Okay, cool. Cool. Ah, yes. Yes. And you know what? It is June. Oh, we got until July? Oh, man, we got time. Man, we got time. This is actually really awesome. So now we're completely surrounded the Philippines. Cancel, land lease. Why would you do that? You know, you don't need a huge army. You just need a big enough army to do well enough around here. That's all you need. And the Japanese divisions are gone until... Well, they bring them back, basically. Manila. Um, we're probably going to have to invade down here. Devao, yeah. Koror. I'm going to do the tried and true. This is what I always do to invade Japan. Japan. The Philippines. Just because, cut them off, take Devao, and then move from there. That usually is what works for me, but maybe not always. And then you guys can probably cut them off at Cebu, maybe? Try that. Give us a few days, and we've got a couple weeks until we need to go to war. And then go to war with Burma, and we'll call it a campaign! And of course, we got to liberate... The Japanese from ourselves, but that's okay. Uh, anything here? Well, I'm glad I was a actually able to use mechanized in this campaign. That's actually kind of nice. Everyone just kind of hang out around the coast of China, and I saw uh, you didn't. I didn't talk about it, but we do have the Be Beijing government. I thought it was Beijing, Beijing, Beijing government. So, orders from Sarawak. Very cool. Oh, defense on core territory. Authoritarian Democrat, huh? Casually having 13 million manpower on limited conscription. Or volunteer only. It's only volunteer only, holy cow. Alright then, let's see. An extra division. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't really need you, so uh, that's fine. Just kind of demobilize, deactivate for now. We'll send you when, it, when we need you. Subs. Submarinos. I doubt we have any other upgrades. He's, hey, actually, he has level 8. He does have a potential for another one. Sword efficiency is. Something I know we'll never get. Oh, big gun experts, though. Let's go. <clears throat> Sword efficiency, that's just plus 10%. It's so nice. Fighters, plus air support and naval bombers. I'll probably go, we'll go fighters. Fighters are always good to do. 
And they're all, all always good to do, but still. And do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. And me. Well, mentally, physically, okay. Especially mentally. Alright, let's go ahead and have a good time. I think, the, well, hold on, the Marines are, yep, they're almost there. The Marines are almost there. <clears throat> it's only 1951, World War 2.578. I don't know, I don't know what World War this is at this point, but it is what it is. Fate of Japan. A Japanese puppet? I think so. <sighs> Very good. And we kept the, most of the islands, which is good with me. Ah, uh, Japan. Who are you? That by a lot of manpower, so some fuel. No fleet. Hirohito. Hello, Hirohito. Kim Koo was leading uh, the Korean state. All right, time to go to war. <clears throat> Call all allies in. Especially these guys. Oh, they've got Filipino divisions here. That's not good. Come from here. That'd be good. Just because I need to invade from these islands. That'd be great. Anywhere else? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, we still have these guys. Oh, we still have these guys. Oh. Well, how do they give this to my people? I don't think I can. Can I? This is like Indonesian territory. Um. Insulinda, huh? I don't think I should really core this, because it doesn't make sense for me to core it. But I guess I will, just because we can. It doesn't make too much sense, but I don't want them to release anybody, so... Uh, we can do that, and get all the way over there. Thank you, Netherlands. Uh, I'm gonna keep the rest of these states for now. <clears throat> Unless we get some sort of other event. Oh god, we're out of guns. Oh look, they're over here too. Oh. Okay, well whatever. <laughs> whatever. You guys can deal with that if you want. Feel like you're being useful. And then you guys come over here. Oh, you're down there actually. Oh, come over there. Why not? Their divisions went away, but whatever. <clears throat> Let's see if we can successfully naval invade. Oh boy, what's going on? Nine destroyers. How strong is the Philippines before we actually destroy them? <clears throat> okay, their navy sucks. Divisions up to 44. Not bad. We got a little bit of fuel. <clears throat> He's trying to see. See home islands. See Japan. Uh, where's the strategic bomber I placed? Home islands. Ah, there you are. I'll put you down here. <clears throat> ah, time for some more coffee. Can we win? Can't nuke Manila yet. Here we go. Oh, you can only send one at a time? That's not fun. Oh, we actually invaded. Nice. Cebu. Oh, we can't invade there. Darn, that sucks. They're really trying to bomb us out, huh? This is a really, really bad idea. Send the tanks down here. Right on ahead. Send half you guys down here. That'd be great. Can we take Manila? Well, after you nuke it once or twice, you probably can. <clears throat> Very good. Come on, spread out, spread out. M7s, cool. Don't really need them. Uh, let's come over back over here, get some more fuel, even though we don't need it at all. Link up, link up if you can. That'd be good. Get them all off. Okay then, they just died immediately. Very nice. Well, that's a case. Um. Well, I guess we could have everyone come around here. It could be one great old gathering. One, one final goodbye to everyone here, in which we utterly try to invade Burma. Now, this is going to be overkill. This is complete overkill of what we're about to do. Very good. Take the airbase so they can't use it. And then, you, you these probably, people probably won't even make it. That's fine, though. Good, and then you guys, I'm just going to station you guys, like, right here. Very cool. 
Well, we only have one enemy agent left. I want to get everyone over here before we actually have to go to war. Let time go on, that's fine. We can speed up uh, time as well. Actually, we got more than enough supplies coming through here, though. That'll be important. Radar. It's, it's going. It's definitely going. Nice. Very nice. So we need to go to war by when? The 22nd? Let's liberate the Philippines. Liberate a loyal Filipino government. That would be delightful, my friends. And who are they led by? The same guy. Emilio. Hello. See, all you have to do is just... You could have just submitted to me and you would have been okay. No divisions, of course. Flea isn't looking great. Makes sense. 46,000 manpower. Actually, what are the resources like in the Philippines? Are they good, or...? Oh, a tiny bit of rubber. A little bit of steel. A little bit of... Oh, quite a bit of chromium. So they got chromium. That's not bad. And a little bit of aluminum. I guess that's why Japan invaded. They want all that chromium, huh? Maybe. Alright, so are we suffering from attrition yet? Maybe a little bit. Yes. Oh, the tanks. Oh, that, oh, he didn't even get moved. Oh, well, that's okay. I should have realized that earlier. It's fine, whatever. Just go ahead, guys. I'm not really too concerned about this at all. Oh, hold on. Not all my marines are over there. Some of you guys are taking a long, 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 long way. That's okay. Technology does not even matter. Whoops. Anymore. Call to arms. Yes, please. India. Yes, please. Oh, we need to make sure we have enough, uh, you guys over here, too. There we go. Now that's looking pretty good. Uh, oh, that's even, you know what? Let's do that, too. Why not? My bad. Let's see. Uh, do that. Super heavy tanks. Why not? And before we kill them off completely, they've already lost 15,000. We've lost about 9,000. Uh, what's going on over here? They have half a million manpower and a lot of fuel, which is actually really awesome for them. Really, really awesome. They have a single destroyer. And is this economically viable? Yes, it is. Just a tiny bit of fuel, tiny bit of rubber, but a lot of tungsten. And a few more pieces of rubber and oil. Burma. Burma's kind of nice. Too bad I'm nuking the hell out of them. Uh, I'm not going to win everywhere just because I don't want to nuke places where I'm going to take very quickly. Ah, right before we show up, I hope our guys have radiation masks and suits. Especially the Marines. They've only lost 69,000. Nice, 69, We've actually lost quite a few guys. King of Burma's gone. And that will be the campaign, my friends. Wow. Honestly, I was not expecting to do a full wasteland ca campaign. Full wasteland. I keep calling wasteland because I keep thinking Old World Blues. But, uh, I have a unified Burma. I think that'd be cool. But I don't think I'll ever really do another full worldwide conquest. I mean, it's not too difficult as America, obviously. Hello, you saw. You saw nothing. But... Normally, I don't ever do full, especially Kaiserreich World Conquest, just because it takes so long. And this is episode 13, even though this last episode wasn't that long compared to how long my videos can be. But regardless, I had actually a lot of fun playing with Huey Long. I love Huey Long. M maybe not for some of his policies, but you know what? He's a good, he's a good meme guy. I, I like him, so uh, that's probably much why I did it. And someone recommended I do a full, full worldwide conquest as well. However, when I play the American Union State again, I will not do a full worldwide conquest. Probably just smash the Reds and uh, take out any country that I feel like, but just not a worldwide conquest. Regardless, though, I hope you enjoyed this episode and this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.